everyone it's Thursday today although when I woke up this morning I could have sworn it was a Monday I don't know why I was just thinking it was Monday sorry I'm moving my chair uh, amazing trip to the grocery store today I got some things that I thought maybe you guys might like to see I got a dry erase pen I had the board don't have the pen so I got a dry erase pen because I wanted to share with you something here Today is Thursday, April 16th. 16. A one and a six. Well, it's actually, yeah, a one and a six. A straight line is lots of fun. That's the way to make a number one. And a line and a loop. Mr. Six rolls a hoop. But really what that is, is one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One group of ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six ones. So ten plus six equals sixteen. Thursday, can you see that? April sixteenth. I used the green one today knowing it might not show up real well. But I use the green one today because green rhymes with 16. Do you hear it? That ending? Een. Yeah, green 16. Okay, so that's a good way to start out. Um, I was busy yesterday thinking about you guys, missing you guys. Love to you all. Can't wait to get back to school. I went to the grocery store today. It's very windy outside today. And, um, you know, I don't want you to be scared if you go outside and you see people wearing masks on their faces. That's to protect other people from getting sick. It's also to protect us from getting sick. Um, so I had my mask on and my nose got all itchy so my nose might look a little teensy on the red side and of course my hair is all a mess from the wind but I was able to get everything I needed so that was a good thing um, and this afternoon even though it's windy I have to go out and mow the lawn and then I'll have to take the girls for a walk because that's what we do that now that's our new normal but to get back to things that are our old normal, let's start. I drew a picture of a queen. How about that? Queen, qua, q, queen, qua, q. Apple, a, a, apple, a, a, or a. Igloo, i, i, igloo, i, i. Box, x, x. Yeah. Box, x. X. That borrows its sound from K and S together. X. Box X. X. Ed, E. Ed, E. E. Or E. Bat, B. B. Bat, B. B. Dog, D. D. Dog, D. D. I hope I got that right. Yeah, I do. Okay. Octopus, A, uh, O. Octopus, A, uh, O. Or O. House, H. H. House H, leaf O L, leaf O L, cup K C, mice C, cup K mice C, yarn ya Y, yarn ya Y, jam ja J, jam ja J, pig P P, pig P P, nest N N, nest N N. Kite k k. Today would be a great day for a kite. Kite k k. Zipper z z. Zipper z z. Fish f f. Fish f f. Mother v. Stick your tongue out. T h. Thimble th. T h. Mother v. Thimble th. T h. Chair ch. C H did some digging yesterday. Chef sh C H like in Charlotte. Chair ch chef sh C H. Got a new one out for you. 
phone, that's what an old phone looks like. Our new phones don't look like that anymore. Phone PH. I dug this one out for Naomi because her last name begins with a PH. Phillips. PH. Phone PH. Phone PH. Goat G. -g Goat G. Giraffe G. G. I don't have a picture of a giraffe, sorry, and I can't draw one either. Mitten M M. Mitten M M. Valentine V V. Valentine V V. That should tickle your lips. Socks S. Nose S. Socks Nose S. Table T T. Table T T. Rabbit R R. Rabbit er R. Whoop! We lost our rabbit er R. He jumped away, hopped away. Umbrella a uh, U. Umbrella a uh, U. Wagon w W. Wagon w W. Oh, I pulled out some new words today for you too, because you know what? Now that you're going to kindergarten, you need to start knowing some of these new words. So I pulled them out. Friday. We're not singing the song today because it's not that day, but we, we will be able to sing that tomorrow, Friday. Thursday, today is Thursday. And if you look right here, let me use my marker. I've got a marker right here. This has that th sound, Thursday. Wednesday, Tuesday. Whoops. They're stuck. They're stuck. I can't get them apart. Monday. Is. I S. Is. That S is using the nose sound of S. Today. My guys should know that word. U. Y O U. Oop. Saturday. Yellow, gray, look through the end of the word, gray, purple, purple, brown, brown, green, pink, black, white, Blue, that U is making that funny U sound. Red, orange, C, S E E, C, the, T H E, the. Notice that has that T H sound in it. Look, L O O K, look. Am, A M, am. Have. H A V E have we W E we what W H A T what and A N D and said S A I D said with notice the T H sound it's at the end this time and it's the f the thimble one with W I T H with do, D-O, do. I means me. Like, L-I-K-E, like. Will, W-I-L-L, -L, will. There, that's using that mother sound of T-H. T-H-E-R-E, -E, there. In, I-N, in. Can, C A N can. Mine, M I N E, mine. That means belongs to me. It's mine. My, again, belongs to me. My hair is driving me crazy today. I've got that one piece that just won't go away. M Y, my. And me, M-E, 
me. That means me, same thing as I. Okay, so we've got that done. Now, a story for you. It's a rhyming book. Sometimes I wonder if poodles like noodles. Do you think poodles like noodles? If Stella and Annie were poodles, they would like noodles, because they like noodles as Stella and Annie. So, poodles and noodles rhyme. Do you hear that? Oodles at the end of both of them. This is written by Laura Numeroff, and it's illustrated by Tim Bowers. You've all read Laura Numeroff books before. I can't think of any offhand, but I know you've read them. Noodles. I had some macaroni noodles for lunch today. I had one uh, wonderful macaroni and cheese. Sometimes I wonder if poodles like noodles. Do lions use irons? Can chickens read dickens? Do horses take courses? Can beavers be weavers? Do monkeys like ride donkeys? Can aardvarks be card sharks? Do rabbits break habits? Can kittens knit mittens? Do possums wear blossoms? Can turtles jump hurdles? I don't know the answer. I haven't a clue. It's just fun to wonder. Do you do it too? I have a very wonder, wondering thing that I do all the time. Oh, this is just different poems. Good. Spots. My Dalmatian's name is Sydney. He's got a million spots. I think it would be tr fun to try connecting all his dots. For Hazel out there, a Dalmatian could be a cheetah because he's got solid spots. A story I like to tell. There's a story that I tell my family. It always makes them laugh. It's about who, a lady who's trying to knit a scarf for a giraffe. Do you think giraffes need scarfs? They don't. They live where it's pretty warm. She knits and knits and knits all day until she thinks she's done. But the giraffe's neck is much too long. It's clear he'll need another one. Not long enough. My grandma and my grandpa. Every day when the sun comes up, my grandma likes to dance. My grandpa makes a phone call to his best friend Jacques in France. Then grandpa likes to cook all day. He says he's never bored. My grandma plays the banjo, but she only knows one chord. Poor grandma. And so she strums while grandpa hums and bakes his casserole. They always eat by candlelight and then go out for a stroll. And after that, it's time for chess, their favorite game to play. They do the same thing all week long. They wouldn't have it any other way. It's kind of like us. We're doing the same thing all week long. My cousin's new paint set. My cousin got a paint set, some paper, and an easel. She painted a giant picture of a polka-dotted weasel. When she was done, she signed her name and began to paint again. This time it was a classroom, and the teacher was a hen. Do I look like a hen? Eh, not much. I don't cackle like a hen either. She painted red dogs and hot pink cats lime green bears and light blue cows and turquoise monkeys wearing wigs oh wait i forgot one line so it kind of didn't make sense sorry about that she painted red dogs and hot pink cats and a pair of orange pigs lime green bears and light blue cows and turquoise monkeys wearing wigs she also painted purple frogs and a red and white striped horse, but the one I like the most of all is the one of me, of course. She was really using her imagination to paint. My friend Freckles. My best friend Kate has red hair and freckles that cover her cheeks and nose. The first time I met her, I had to ask, do your freckles go down to your toes? Oh, sleepover. They're having a sleepover. 
Once in a while, my friend spends the night. We get under a blanket and use a flashlight. We read from my book about a house with a ghost until it scares us too much and we ha go have some toast. When we finish our snack, we get back in our beds and we tell stories from out of our heads. This time, the monsters don't give us a fright. We hold our... We hold tight to our pillows and leave on the light. Look at who's really scared, though. Poor puppy is really scared. You see, in this picture, they're under the blanket with the flashlight on, reading the book. And I know you're seeing the glare from the, the light there, but there they are. Ah! Do you know what season it is there? It's the season of fall, and it looks like the ho uh, Halloween is happening. So let's see. On Halloween, I like to see what everyone pretends to be: ghosts and monsters and scary ghouls, and pirate ma and ma pirates and maidens with beautiful jewels, cowgirls and princes and black pussy cats, horses and pumpkins and witches and bats, gypsies and lizards, Martians and pigs. Werewolves and tigers, ballerinas in wigs. This year, I'm going as corn on the cob. Making my costume was quite hard. I pasted hundreds of squares onto my clothes. I covered them from my head to my toes. I think that's a pretty ingenious costume, corn on the cob. This one is butter. Hmm. Interesting. Makes me think. Dinosaur bones. I like to go to the dino to the science museum and see the dinosaur's bones. He looks like co he could have eaten a million ice cream cones. I stand below and look straight up. He's at least eight stories tall. I have all my toes and my fingers crossed that nothing will make him fall. I don't know how many of you have been to the museums to see dinosaur bones, but I've taken my boys several times when they were boys. Now they're men. And I've taken my Beezer, too, my grandson. It's fun to see dinosaur bones, but like him or her, yeah, I hope they don't fall down. Learning to ice skate. I'm learning how to ice skate, but I'm always falling down. I guess it's lucky that I'm short, so I'm closer to the ground. I'd like to spin around and round and do a figure eight, but I'll have to start with staying up. Figure eights can wait. Just having a little trouble there. Ice skating takes a lot of practice. When I was sick in bed... Last week at school, I caught a cold and had to stay in bed. I drank hot tea, took vitamin C, and read and read and read. I read biographies, those are books about people, and fairy tales in a book about the sea. I read poetry and picture books and a spooky mystery. I was so busy reading, actually, being sick didn't bother me. Well, she sounds like a kid after my own heart. I love to read. My birthday. Hey, we just had a birthday. Janella had a birthday, and Anna has one coming up, and so does Will, and so does Aurora, five years old. Pretty cool. My birthday. My mother promises she will bake an out-of-this-world birthday cake. Looks like she got it. She's got a rocket ship on it and stars and an astronaut. Chocolate outside, nuts in the middle. It will be hard to eat just a little. My party's theme is outer space, space, Martians and planets all over the place, flying saucers to toss about. Happy birthday, my friends will shout. Silver balloons and party favors, spaceship punch in different flavors. Pin the tail on the man in the moon. It's going to be over all too soon. Look at how they're... They're not really pinning the tail. They're sort of pinning the rocket on the moon. Very cool. Do you remember how I told you to remember the nine planets? My very educated mother just served us noodles. Is for Mercury, Venus, my very Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. 
used to be back in the day. My very educated mother just served us nine pickles, but they demoted Pluto. He's not a planet anymore. A day at the beach. Oh, this summer when I go to the beach, I'd like to collect some shells. I'll string them together and hang them at home so when the wind blows, they'll sound like bells. I'd also like to play tag with the waves to see if they can catch me. I know I'm too fast, but I'll give them a chance. Have you ever been tagged by the sea? I sure have. Look at that little dog with his sunglasses on. <laughs> Then I want to build in the sand. This time I might make a big car. When it's all done, I'll sit in the front, but I don't expect to get very far. I can fly my homemade kite, draw birds or planes with my hand. I can fill up my pail with things that I find or bury my feet in the sand. I'll lie in the sun and take a short nap, and when I wake up, we'll be on our way. Then every time my shell chimes tinkle, I'll remember my most perfect whoops, day. I was showing you the wrong side of the page. You see the shell chimes right there hanging from a branch? It's a very cool idea. I see a lot of wind chimes hanging when I go for a walk. Sometimes I actually hear them. I love wind chimes. I like to cook. Sometimes I make lunch by myself. I make beef stew in the microwave with yams and sauerkraut. Yuck. I make ham and tuna sandwiches with butter and tomato or chunky peanut butter or a half a baked potato. I don't think I like the way this girl cooks. Yeah. I always have some carrot juice or chocolate milk to drink. I'm getting to be a very good cook. At least that's what I think. What do you think Mr. Dog thinks? I think he's... Nah. He's, he's taking a nap instead. This one's about baking. Every so often, my dad and I bake. We make chocolate, chookie, chocolate chip cookies or a three-layer cake. We sing silly songs while we measure and pour. And Sydney, our dog, sleeps nearby on the floor. When everything's finished and ready to eat, the two of us sit down. Sydney sits by our feet. Stella and Ian do that to us sometimes. We enjoy the warm cookies or huge slices of cake, never rushing to clean up the big messes we make. Ooh, cookies. That makes me think I haven't had dessert from my lunch yet. Duets. Do you know what a duet is? A duet is when two people either play or sing together, and it looks like they're playing a duet. My mother and I play piano. We have a favorite song. She plays left and I play right, and our dog will sing along. Sometimes when dogs hear music, they like to howl. Often we get all mixed up and play each other's part. We laugh so hard we, hard, we have to stop and go back to the start. We love to play together. Duets are so much fun. Sometimes we give a concert and Dad claps when we're done. You can see Dad clapping right there. Bath time. In the evening, I take my bath. Look at that funny hat she's got on. And I pretend I'm in a boat or bring in different toys to see if they can float. I have a plastic dolphin that putters all around and a floating helicopter that doesn't make a sound. I like to build shampoo horns and pretend that I'm a bull. You see? Or fill the tub with bubbles until it's almost full. I use every inch of towel to make sure that I am dry. My fingers look like raisins, but I have no clue why. Did you ever get that raisiny thing when you take a bath or you're in the swimming pool too long? I do sometimes. I crawl into my PJs and brush, brush, brush my teeth. Then I pull back all my covers and crawl in underneath. My new pajamas. So oh, I love pajamas. Those are some really cool footy nude pajamas. These days I wear PJs that I think are rather neat. They're new and blue with polka dots and come complete with feet. Neat and feet. Good night. Every night before I go to sleep, I have to say good night to all my toys and animal animals 
or else I don't feel right. I have so many in my room, it seems to take all night. Till Mom says it's getting light late and then shuts off the light. I always say I forgot someone. And she always answers, who? I put my arms around her neck and whisper, I love you. Ah, oh, and this looks like it's going to be the last one, guys. Nope, one more after this. My wonderful dream. Last night, I had the strangest dream. I dreamt that I was on a whale. <coughs> okay, good. Pardon me. My allergies are really bothering me. Last night, I had the strangest dream that I was on a whale. We took a trip around the world with me upon his tail. You see, here he is. Or she is, rather, on the tip of the ta whale's tail. We went to Bali and Peru, to Italy and France. We saw a school of foreign fish and watched a mermaid dance. We drank green tea in China. In England, we munched scones. We made a stop in Amsterdam for Dutch chocolate ice cream cones. We went all the way to Africa to see the zebras and giraffes. And the muddy hippopotamus gave us a lot of laughs. You can see him there. Here's the mermaid. I don't see this. Oh, here's the zebra and the giraffe. Zebra and giraffe. Then we went on to India to try a taste of curry. We took our time getting home. We weren't in a hurry. And when our trip came to an end, I thanked him for the ride. I told him how much fun I'd have and that he was the perfect guide. Here's the tea from China. Ah, uh, P.S. Did you know? Did you know that camels and camels sway and horses neigh, puppies yap and kittens nap, bullfrogs leap and hamsters sleep, monkeys swing and possums cling, tadpoles grow and roosters crow, crickets chirp and piglets slurp, eagles soar and lions roar, bedbugs bite and fireflies light. Did you know those things? Well, now you do. Now, remember the title of this. Sometimes I wonder if Poodles likes noodles. Here's the question I have for you today, and then I have to go mow my lawn. The question I have for you is, I often wonder, what do cows think? What do cows think? In fact, I started writing a book about it, and I've got a lot of the words written. I don't have any pictures, though. But what do cows think? Shoot me a message if you can tell, or have mommy or daddy shoot me a message, if you can tell me, what do you think cows think about all day? I really wonder. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll sing <laughs> some songs, okay? And we'll check in on, on how our vegetables are doing, okay? I'll talk to you later, guys. I miss you all. Bye.